charge! Blue Alliance won the first match here. One more victory sends them to the semifinals. Red trying to force a tiebreaker. Two robots on each alliance make their way to the courtyard. 41-31, gonna line up, push Swag out of the way and get off a shot. And it goes wide, nearly hitting the center goal. We'll make it 22 to 20 in favor of Blue as Tread goes up and over the Cheval de Freeze. Electric Eagles do the same, and now 27 to 25 is your Blue Alliance lead. 4060 finds the low goal. Electric Eagles no good high. Murphy's Law gonna try to find the side goal for Blue. They're spinning up those wheels as the Iron Patriots send one clear over the castle. That ball will be returned to the field and we will reset. 32, 37 to 27 now, your Red Alliance lead as Murphy's Law finds the high goal for Blue, pick up another boulder, and the Iron Patriots now back to see what they can do to slow down the Blue scoring effort. They're gonna need every chance they get as the Red Alliance is down one match here. Both Auto Works falling fast, it's just one more crossing of the drawbridge that takes the breach for Red. Tread seems to have that well in hand. The Blue Alliance with more work to do 41-31, the Iron Patriots trying to prevent Murphy's Law from getting where they need to be. 40-60, Swag now up on their side. They're going to see if they can get themselves repositioned and out of the way to continue on this match. Murphy's Law going to give up on the high goal. Looks like go low. Iron Patriots doing what they can as Tread puts, Mur puts Swag back on their feet. And the Red Alliance is fully operational again. Under one minute remaining and a 10-point Red Alliance lead. Neither Alliance still having completed their breach. 36-84 being waived for a foul of some kind as Tread still working on that drawbridge. Having some difficulty getting it to stay where they want it. 59-39 now ramming into the drawbridge for Blue. They're going to try to find something they can get over and move into the courtyard. Tread still not quite any good on that drawbridge. Nobody for Red working on the goals. 41-31 playing defense. Tread working on the outer works and Swag sitting tight in the neutral zone. 30 seconds now remaining and still a 10 point Red Alliance advantage, 62 to 52. 32 19 gives up on the drawbridge, heads for the rock wall. They're over once, back to the neutral zone, and they will make their way over again to try to complete the Red Alliance breach. Blue has not breached yet as a boulder goes up and into the high goal for 36 84. This could make the difference. Three blue robots towards the tower. 59 39 slides off the batter towards the end there. Blue Alliance unable to breach the Outer Works, but the Red Alliance only able to get one robot back to the tower. This could lead to an interesting finish. We'll let you know what it means right after this. In quarterfinal four, match number two, three instances of G43 called against the Blue Alliance. That is interfering with an opposing robot as they attempt to traverse your outer works. Blue Alliance interfered with the Red Alliance traversing the Blue Outer Works. That resulted in 15 points of fouls. With that on the board, the victory in this match to the Red Alliance. 97 to 67, the final tally. And because of that, we will have a tiebreaker for quarterfinal number four. And that means as we, these teams will need to play back-to-back -back matches, we move directly into a six-minute field timeout. We have a six 